Well, here we go again, guys. The Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, 22-3 and three against the AFC West since he took over as the starter in 2018. No QB has guided his team to more wins in his first 25 divisional games since the NFL merger in 1970. I picked the Chargers to win this game. I picked with my heart instead of my head, as I mentioned, and it backfired. The difference between the Chiefs and, and just especially the Chargers is – Justin Herbert went out there and had a good game. Like, no Chiefs fan's going to say otherwise. But we keep saying, you know, eventually it's going to happen. And you know, Justin Herbert, he's the guy that's going to overcome Mahomes and the Chiefs. Until it didn't. I mean, the Chargers, they they had a, you know, not a commanding lead, but they were up and it seemed like they had this game. And then all of a sudden, you know, here comes Chris Jones. Here comes a pick six by a rookie that was drafted in the seventh round. Both these teams were banged up. I mean, the Chiefs lost, I'm not going to say their best, skill player because that's Travis Kelsey but yeah, they, they lost the most explosive player in the NFL in Tyree Kill and they're 2-0 and to start the season they beat a Cardinals team that's pretty good and I know people are like well hold on a second the Cardinals defense is trash it's not trash the Chiefs offense is just on a different level I mean the the Cardinals were, were man they were blitzing and Mahomes just picks that apart and in this game it's the complete opposite right the Chargers were, you know, the Chargers were trying to kind of bait the Chiefs into throwing deep, but the Chiefs just took the underneath. They ran the ball, and of course, they made him pay. They hit, you know, Mahomes hit Ross deep down the field for a, you know one on one, working on J.C. Jackson as well, turned him around. I mean, this is a receiver who I didn't even really know much about. I believe he was with uh, who was he with? That's the thing. It's like uh, I don't even remember, bro. Being real with you, but. I know that McCall Hartman exited with an injury and then all of a sudden they bring in another receiver and he, he ends up catching a touchdown like the next play. So the Chiefs have a lot of weapons. What I'm trying to get at here is they have more weapons than they did last season. And this defense is legit. I know a lot of Chiefs fans, look, not a lot, but okay, a few Chiefs fans were like, pump the brakes, let's see if they can do it against the Chargers. And they did. I mean, like I said, they were getting to Herbert and I understand that Corey Lindsley exited with injury. I understand that they had Storm Norton playing tackle oh man makes me want to throw up yeah uh, Chiefs fans you guys might not be too familiar with Storm Norton imagine think of the worst tackle you've ever seen with the Chiefs and times that by two Storm Norton god awful and the Chargers they they played a good game they fought hard but what you know whether or not they went out there and had the best offseason of all teams they still can't beat the Chiefs and this was a huge win for the Chiefs because think about it if the, if the Chiefs just beat the Chargers at home who who the hell else is going to beat them like, let me, I don't even know exactly who, who, what other good teams the Chiefs play at home, but I really don't care. I wouldn't be surprised if the Chiefs don't even lose a game at home this season. I mean, unless they're playing the Buffalo Bills, well, I'm pretty sure they do play. I don't know if it's going to be at home or not in Arrowhead, but I've seen all I need to. I mean, it's only week two, a lot of football here left, but this was a huge test. A team that just, you know, beat the Chiefs in Arrowhead two years in a row, a team that was fired up. They didn't, you know, they, they were hyped up for this game just as much as the Chiefs were. And they really couldn't get it done. But the defense was the thing for me. I mean, even though I thought Herbert did play a good game, he also, like, he, he was under pressure and he struggled and he missed some throws he normally makes. But, like, we can get into the box score here. I really – I'm not a big box score guy, honestly. But, like, you can see, like, Herbert threw for 334 yards, three touchdowns. That's an amazing game. But it, the crazy thing is it's not going to beat the Chiefs. Like, that that's an amazing game. But – you know, the throw that really hurt Herbert the most was that 99-yard pick six. But, I mean, even like Mahomes threw for 235 yards, two touchdowns, didn't turn it over, which is huge. Was sack uh, one time. But, you know, Mahomes, he only threw 35 attempts. So, like, the Chiefs really didn't run a lot of plays. But just the Chargers on third down, just they couldn't overcome the Chiefs. Like, this defense is just so much better. Like, even I, I, I didn't doubt the Chiefs defense. I knew it was a lot better than – people thought but I didn't think it would be this good so quickly like it's been two weeks and the Chiefs defense looks like it's in mid-season form I mean I, I can't even remember the last time the Chiefs had a defense this good at least this quickly it, like it hasn't it hasn't even happened since Mahomes was here like their Super Bowl season the defense wasn't even this good I mean maybe it was down like obviously down the stretch like getting a Super Bowl it was but I mean week two like it normally takes the Chiefs you know week week eight week nine to really get it going but only a couple weeks in. I mean, they started off against the Cardinals. They were on the road against a pretty good offense. You know, Cliff Kingsbury, Kyler Murray is a number one pick in the draft. They've got a couple of good weapons. You know, Marquise Brown and these boys, uh, Ronda Moore didn't play. But 
Um, Zach Ertz, like, okay team, but, I mean, pretty good test to start off with. But, yeah, th this game said a lot for me, honestly, because I – like, the only team I'm really, too, like, worried about in this AFC West outside of the Chiefs is the Chargers. But, you know, the Chiefs just, just took care of them. And next time they meet, I mean, obviously, it'll be a lot different. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's, it's going to be a really good one. But um, is there anything else I really wanted to talk about? I mean – Clyde Edwards Delaire, yeah, he had a 52 yard run, dude, uh, late in the fourth quarter. CEH just, I know a lot of Chiefs fans might be like, finally, he's turning it. It, it was never ability, it was just health. Like, CEH is finally healthy. He looks explosive. He looks great on both the receiving and you know, rushing the football. Uh, Pacheco only had two carries. Like, Pacheco really won't have a lot of work on the ground unless it's a blowout. He'll play special teams. And then Jarek McKinnon, four for 12, is just in there for kind of like not chase of, change of pace, but just, I mean, he is an explosive running back. Like, I do like how he gets touches, but you know, obviously the main guy here is CEH. And um, for the receiving, you know, Kelsey goes five for 51, nothing crazy. Uh, Watson, did I say, I think I said his name wrong. I just realized that. Hold on a second here. Justin Watson. Uh, oh yeah, he was with the Tampa Bay Bucks. That's right. Yeah, honestly, don't I don't even really know who this guy is. Being real with you, but I'm not a Chiefs fan. I just make Chiefs videos for fun. But yeah, like McCole Hardman, three for forty nine. We're kind of waiting for him to get it going. I mean, remember like Arik was here, and he, it, it was hard for Hardman to really get it going with Tyreek here. I figured like he might be even be the number one receiver. But I mean, obviously, I would say it's Juju, but Juju had three receptions for ten yards. I, mean, I, I do think Juju is the number one here. Week one, he, he saw the most uh, the most work for receivers, like uh, most known in your target share. It's going to be Juju, but yeah, we did see. I mean, a lot of guys catching it, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different Chiefs players caught a football tonight from Patrick Mahomes, which makes the offense tougher to beat. Obviously, the run game is a much better, uh, you know, the, the three running backs and uh, that Burton was on a like, fourth down or was it a third? Or, I think it might have been a third down, their fullback. And uh, yeah, he was able to get a, a handoff. But yeah, the Chiefs didn't run a lot of plays. The defense got the, the Herbert. Obviously, it made some key stops. And even on like, the, you know, later in the fourth quarter on third down, we saw, you know, uh, <laughs> We saw Justin Herbert throw in, you know, throw with the Mike Williams of three Chiefs right on him. It was, that, that's kind of the thing is like I know a lot of people were like, yeah, you know, it's fair. It's like we don't have Reek. You got you guys don't have Keenan Allen. I mean, I guess, but like, I'll I'll make the argument that Keenan Allen is more important to the Chargers than you know Tyreek is to the Chiefs. Like, and I know it's easy to say that because the Chiefs are two and zero without Tyreek Hill, but. Like, you know, any diehard Chiefs fan knows that Travis Kelsey is the guy and always has been. Like, if they had, if they lost Travis Kelsey, they'd be in trouble. But they didn't lose Travis Kelsey. They lost Tyree Kill, and they added more weapons around. They're, the Chiefs are just better without Reek. They're more motivated as well. And Or maybe, you know, they might not be better. Like, you, I don't think you can lose Tyree Kill and become better. But just the motivation factor from Reed and, and of course, you know, Mahomes and the offensive coordinator, you know, just honestly – the Chiefs just look a lot more difficult to to really predict. You never know who the ball is going to. Uh, the offensive line tonight really wasn't that great, but it's Khalil Mack and and um, and Joey Boza coming off of each edge. So, not to mention the Chargers have a fantastic secondary. So, like obviously the O line is not going to play that great, but I mean it got it done and down down the stretch. Um, yeah, when, when Holmes hit, uh, you know he hit, of course his man. Um, Watson down the field we saw that he was able to step up in the pocket so the, the old line did a good job there honestly and personally it was a fun game I really enjoyed it um, it was a good game you know obviously I have a, a Chargers channel and I I love the Chargers fans to death like dude Charger fans are so cool but it's just the honest truth the Chiefs are the best team not only in this division they're the best team in the AFC they're the team to beat I understand the Bengals went to the Super Bowl last season but this is just not the same Chiefs team. And the Bengals looked like complete garbage in week one. Joe Burrow had like four picks. But, you know, it's, it's not – I'm not trying to overreact, but I'm just saying the Chiefs are the team to beat, and they're going to win probably 13 games this season. And once again, win the AFC West. I did pick them to win the division. I did pick the Chargers to win this game tonight. And sure, I was wrong, but, you know, sometimes you're wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, you're just picking a team like it's nothing crazy. But, yeah, guys, appreciate you. Hopefully you have a good one.